hello, I'm Lauren Lewis with Power for Parkinson's. Welcome to Energize and Exercise. This is a great midweek boost. Um, it's done in an add-on format in that I'm going to give you an exercise. We're going to learn it really well. Then we're going to learn a second exercise. Add it to the first one. And then we're going to learn a third exercise and add that. So at the end, we're going to have three exercises that are all uh, continued together. They're all attached to each other. It's a great way of getting your cardio up. It's a great way of using all those different muscles in your body. Um, the other thing I really have to mention is that all of these exercises are not only full body exercises, but they're all going to be focusing on a, a common symptom of Parkinson's. So we're also addressing your Parkinson's symptoms. Hopefully to better manage them. So I think you're gonna really enjoy this. This is short but efficient. Let's get started. Find yourself a nice spot on the floor. You can do this seated as well. Standing nice and tall. Pull your abdominals in, pull your shoulders back. Let's bring the arms all the way overhead in a deep inhale and an exhale. Let's do that two more times. Deep inhale, up and exhale. Last time, big swing up. And exhale. All right, shoulder rolls. Good. Our first exercise, we're going to do some side squatting. This is a great exercise for shifting weight. We're working on balance because you're shifting your weight. And then we're going to add on a contralateral, meaning opposite, using opposites to it. Let's start off one piece at a time. Sh uh, weight shifting, a side squat. We're going to take that right leg out to the side and sit back. A squat is an invisible chair, a sitting back position. Be good to those knees, don't come forward. Sit back. So we're gonna go right, stand, left, stand. Or right, up, left, up. Again, right, up, left, up. Right, up, left, up. All right, so what we're doing is we're shifting our weight from side to side using your quads and your glutes, using those large muscles. Notice I had my arms in front. That's going to help with balance. If your hands are close, all your weight is behind you. It's harder to stay balanced. When you bring your arms in front and your hips back, you're more balanced. Let's practice those balancing motions. I'm going to make this just a little more fun by adding an opposite. We're stepping right. Let's take the left arm and tap your right foot. So here we go. Right Stand or up, left, up. Again, right, up, left, up, right, up, left. Four more. Go, right, up, left. Now, you don't have to touch. You can just go to your knee. It doesn't matter as long as you're using opposites. Two more. Right, up, left, and up. So we've got the beginnings of a great first exercise. We're squatting. Heart rate's coming up using large muscles. We're working on gait and contra and using opposites. Those opposites are really important for a, a very more natural and a much more balanced and safe gait walking. Let's add the last piece to this and that will be something that we're just gonna challenge the brain and that's just a little pattern. Second part is going up. We're still going right, up, down, and then arms extending in front of you, down and up. Up, down, down, the whole exercise. Right, up, left, up, up, down, down, and up. Squat, right, up, left, up, arms, up, down, down, up, again. Squat, right, up, left, up, up, down, down. Let's do two more. Right, up. Left, up, up, down, down. Last time, squat, right, up, left, up, reach, up, down, down, and up. Great first exercise using entire body. We're stretching up, we're bending down, using large muscles in our uh, upper body, shoulders and arms, and of course our lower body. And we're directing, the, we're working on uh, two symptoms of Parkinson's balance, and using opposites. Nice job. First exercise. Let's move on to our second exercise. This is more about really focusing on gait. We're going to open up those arms. We're lifting the leg. It's not just stepping. It's a lift out to the side. Out, 
in, go out and in, lift, out, in, out. Instead of sitting, we're standing, out, in, out, in, out, in. Now notice my arms are fully extended, go out, in. It makes it a lot more done, uh, dynamic, it makes it a little more muscular because you're really using those arms more intentionally, in, out, in, out, in, out, in. All right, nice job. Let's add one last piece to this to make it just, again, a little more fun. I'm gonna add that contralateral again using opposites in the middle of it. So we're gonna go out. Now watch, here's the balance and using opposites. Arms are out, legs are extended. I'm gonna cross tap, come back to my out position, in, extend to the left, out. Now I'm gonna take that left arm to the right. Tap, out, in. Let's try it together. Out. Tap, out, in, out, 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 tap, out, in. I hope you got it. Let's take it from the very top. Our first exercise is a squat, tapping the floor. And, the, and then using those arms up and down. And the second exercise is out with the, with the tapping and lifting of the knee. So let's try the first one together. It's right, stand, left, stand, up, down, down. Second exercise, out, tap, out, in. Out, tap, first exercise, tap, uh, upright, left, up, up, down, down, out, in, go, out, tap, out, in, out, tap, out, in. Two exercises. Connecting them all makes it a lot more cardio. Great job. Third exercise. Now we're going to move, instead of moving laterally, we're going to move forward. This is important for gait. We're also shifting our weight forward and back. This is important for gait and for balance. We're going to take that right leg and we're going to do a front lunge. When you do a lunge, it's important that you keep those 90 degree angles in the knee. So you don't want to take a small, uh, a small step and let that knee go in front of the toe. You want to take a nice wide step. It doesn't matter how low you go, it makes sure that your knee is safely in place. So you want to go front and back. I'm going to do three right lunges, three left lunges. Let's practice together. Right, left. It's just front and back. So it's front. Back. Let's use the opposite arm to, again, just to um, reinforce that opposites. One, back, two, back, three, switch. One, back, two, back, three. You're starting to feel it? Switch. One, back, two, back, three, switch. One, stand tall. Two, Back, three, two more times. One, back, two, back, three, switch, one. Nice and big, go. Two, and three, hold. All right, that's a good start for our third exercise. So we've got the lunges, you understand where your body position should be. I'm gonna add a balance aspect to it, more fun. So we're gonna do three front lunges and add one knee lift and we're going to clap underneath to force you to lift that knee nice and high to lift again reminding your legs to lift when you're walking get away from that parkinson's shuffle so here we go three and a, and a lift one two three lift switch front back front back front back lift again front Back, front, back, front, back, lift, switch, front, back, front, back, front, back, lift. Last time, front, back, front, back, front, back, lift, switch, front, back, front, back, front, back, Lift, and I'm going to finish it all off, yes, with four 
the knee lifts with the clap underneath. It's just a great way of putting that all together. So we finish with one, two, three, four. We have three exercises. The first is a squat. Right, stand, left, up, up, down, down. Second exercise is out, cross, out, in, out, cross, out, front, back, go front, back, front, back, front, back, up, switch, front, back, front, back, front, back, up, four claps, one, two, three, four. Have you got it? I hope so. <laughs> all right, we're going to put on the music and have a little fun with this, see if we can't connect all four exercises, do them all together uh, continuously, and maybe we can do them two or three times together. Here we go. Starting with that squat, right, left. Right. Left. Arms. Up. Down. Let's do it again. Squat. Right. Arms up, up, down, good, out, in with the cross, out, tap, out, in, out, tap, out, once again, go, out, tap, up, in, out, tap, out, front lunge, give me three, one, two, three, clap under, switch legs, one, Clap under. Four claps. Fast. One, two, three from the top squat. Ready? Right. Step. Left. Step. Arms. Up. Down. Down. Squat again. Right. Up. Left. Up. Arms. Up. Down. Nice work. Out and with that cross. Out. Put it back on from the very top. Learn each exercise well. Remember, this is not a dance class. It's exercise. Each exercise has an important um, benefit, both for your body and for your Parkinson's. So I hope you'll practice and get really good at this. Let's continue just warm, cooling down. Let's get our heart rate down. Deep breath in with me. And exhale. Sometimes you may need to walk around the room. Mm. Just to get that heart rate down, let's take that right leg in front. And just stretch it out from all those squats. We want to make sure that we're lengthening those muscles and getting some of that toxic out of the body. Just gently relax. Lean back. You can hold on to the wall or a chair for safety. And gently release. Switch sides. Heel down. Toe up. Just gently lengthen those muscles from those squats and from those um, the lifts, those cross taps. We want to make sure that you're lengthening and stretching those muscles. Good, roll it all the way up, bring your arms overhead, deep breath in, 
Exhale as we stretch down for four. One last time, inhale. Exhale for four. Thank you so much for joining me for this little boost of energy in the middle of the week. Have a great rest of the week. Keep practicing on these midday exercises. They're great for you, and I think you're really going to have some fun with them. Take care.